Hi everybody, good morning. Welcome back to my channel. It's a beautiful day here in South Carolina and I just wanted to come and bring a video this weekend. Um, this video is something about I get questions about all the time. What kind of camera gear do I use? What kind of editing software do I use? And so I just wanna shed a little light on all of that. I thought it'd be a fun video um, since I do have so many questions about it and I just wanna share it with you. So I'm not a professional, I'm not a techie or anything like that. So this is not gonna be a video like that. It's just gonna be showing you what I use and uh, when I use certain cameras for certain things and uh, all the equipment that I use with that so yeah so just stay tuned and um, we'll get right into it now okay now we're going to talk about the camera gear um, which cameras I use what tripods um, I use I'm going to talk about my editing software um, anything that I would use in order to bring you my vlogs to bring you my random videos that I like to you know put up weekly and so um yeah i just had had so many questions about my cameras and editing software um you know i just want to share it with you and maybe it'll be helpful for someone else trying to find their way um um with the kind of camera they might like or whatever so um yeah let's go ahead and get started again uh, if you hear anything in the background it's my pups you know i constantly share the stage with them <laughs> <laughs> but they're good for the most part but um yeah i kind of have to let you know you might hear things in the background but um to start it off with um i'm actually filming with my camera right now so what i'm going to talk about is the other camera that i use um when um i don't vlog with this camera and mostly but um if you see me ever in the car doing footage or if you see me in a store other than Disney now at Disney I don't mind whipping my camera out because every other person has their camera out so uh, but I definitely will use this um, if I'm at say a Disney store or at, um, some random store there's Disney stuff there and I want to do some footage definitely will pull out my iPhone uh oh my iPhone um, this up to yesterday has been the second um thing that i use to film with um it's my iphone and this is the iphone 6 s plus um i have had this for several years now and um i just decided to upgrade yesterday i chose to stick with the s plus series um i opted for the 8 s plus instead of the 10 um and i i told the guy that was helping me i said listen I'm here about the camera. I'm here about the video quality. That's all I care about. I mean, I want to talk on it, obviously, and text people, but I mean, that's really not even my number one focus. My number one focus was I use it as a backup camera to do certain things. So that for me was more important. And, um, and really being able to watch the video back was another important aspect of it for me too. I so I also chose the beautiful red. Let me show you how stunning this camera is um yeah look at it it is so pretty look at that glass on the back it's gorgeous and i'm trying to be really careful with it because um and i want to show you my screen on my lock screen i know i don't know if you could see that uh, it's probably blurry, but um, anyway, it's an aerial scene, but I love how it's black on the front, red on the back. It's just, it reminds you of Mickey Mouse, right? Or Minnie Mouse. I love it. So that was another factor. It just kind of reminded me of Disney, but it has a really good camera, way better than the one I had on my 6S, which I've been using up till yesterday um, if I wasn't using my camera. So um, yeah, that was a huge factor for me um, was be able to get a really good camera um, on my iPhone and the cameras on the iPhones are just amazing so you know you can totally um, rock an Instagram account a YouTube account uh, with merely just your iPhone you don't have to have the fancy cameras and high-tech this that and the other to have a successful channel um, on either Instagram or YouTube so uh, just know if you got an iPhone you're good to go but the pictures are just amazing i'm really excited about using the new one. Oh, and let me just mention this 
um, with your camera or your iPhone. Um, and I'll probably uh, talk about it again when we get on my uh, camera. But always change your settings to 60 frames per second. It really makes a huge difference when you're filming. So, um, and my new iPhone 8 Plus, um, it actually gives me the option to film in 4K. Um, in 60 frames per second and I think I talked to my nephew who has the 7 and he said his only gave him the option of 4k at 30 frames per second so I think they've really beefed up um, what you can do with the camera so I'm real excited about filming with that and actually taking pictures with that particular camera but, but yeah so that is uh, one thing, I only use two cameras, and this is the second one. This is the iPhone camera, and so it does a great job, and um, now, yeah. so let's go ahead and let's talk about my camera. So I'm gonna have to switch the cameras out, so you will now see a totally different picture quality, and, um, and see the difference between my camera and how, and I'm gonna film with my new iPhone, and let's see how good that turns out, okay? All right, so let's switch it around. Okay, now let me show you the camera that I use, and it is the Canon G7X. That's the camera that I use. This is the Mark II. There is a first edition to this, um, which I think you st can still get. I think I saw it at Best Buy um, not long ago, so I don't know if it's still available everywhere or even online, but I definitely uh, saw it. But this is the one I have. It is the a PowerShot G7X Mark II by Canon. And let me just tell you some little specs real quick. Um, like I just said, um, it is the power shot from Canon. The G7X Mark II is 20.1 megapixels. Uh, it's a digital camera, and it's a normal price at Best Buy of $699.99, but uh, I just looked at it yesterday, and it is on sale for $679.99. So that is the price, that's what it is, that's how many megapixels you get, and it's um, uh, on sale. So anyway, I do get a lot of comments about my videos, and uh, this, again, is the camera that I use. Uh, it's been a great camera. Uh, it's the very first camera I ever bought. Now, I take that back. I had kind of like a little entry-level uh, Nikon DSLR. Um, and it was only maybe like four or five hundred dollars. It wasn't a real, uh, real nice D DSLR. But I sold it on Craigslist and took the money and put it toward this because I felt like this suited me better for what I like to do. Um, for me personally, I don't like to lug a big camera around the parks. Um, I wanted something that was compact, something that I could put in my backpack, put in my pocket. My husband could put it in his pocket if I just absolutely didn't want to carry it around with me. But I have found now it's like my right hand. I do not let this out of my sight. I actually have it out um, and on a tripod or doing something with it constantly the whole time I'm there. Even if it's like taking a picture, which it takes great pictures also. But um, even if it's just taking a picture or if I'm vlogging something, I'm constantly using it for something. So um, it's, you know, it's it has a little substance to it, but it's not super heavy so you'll love that aspect of it um it's clearly not as light as an iphone but um of course this has a lot more capabilities than an iphone the two things that really set this camera apart for me was the number one was the screen um it has a lift up screen which a lot of cameras do but for me in particular you can see what it looks like from behind um it really really um, helps when I'm vlogging myself especially and I want to look at myself or if I have a couple other people in the shot with me and I want to make sure everybody's in focus and in the frame um, this one is just really I just love being able to see it I don't think I will ever ever um, have a um, 
not a phone, but uh, a camera that does not have either an articulating screen that comes up or comes out um, because I feel like it is so essential for me. I'm not a pro at this and I'm a beginner vlogger and I'm, you know, I'm not that good where I can kind of guess where it's at without looking. So I love that. And the other thing that I really loved about this uh, screen is that it not only comes up, but it comes out. And this screen will bend down like so. How this has been helpful to me, uh, case in point, we were at the Merry Christmas party uh, in 2016, and we were back in the crowd, and I was trying to record the stage show that was going on in front of the castle. And clearly, um, I, on my tripod, I could lift it up, my little handheld tripod, I can lift it way up and see over everybody's head, like filming, but I couldn't see what I was seeing because the screen was in place, it, you know, like this. And so if it's way above your head, how can you see it? So where this comes into effect, I was able to pull this screen out and tilt the face downward and do it more like this. And that way I could hold it up over everyone's head and I could still see the screen and make sure I had everything in the uh, view that I wanted and if it was focused or not. So this has been a really big deal for me. And if you're in a large crowd situation, this type of screen really comes in handy, especially when it articulates out and down so that you can lift it up high and still see the screen and know what you're doing. So so really love that aspect of it. The second thing that I really love about the Canon G7X Mark II is its low light capabilities. Um, you know, obviously you can't just go into a dark closet and expect the camera to produce light and you see everything. It's not like that. But if you go um, in a low light situation, especially at the parks at night, and if there's minimal light, or lighting, you the Canon G7X really picks that light up and 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 makes it better. And so, in situations, just say versus an iPhone that doesn't have as well of low light um, filming, um, it's a huge difference. And I've seen it and filming the same exact you know situation, lighting and everything. Uh, the G7X almost made it look just normal so well not like daylight but you know it was just like there was plenty of light when it was really a really low light situation so um and with that said let me i'm going to tell you about another person that you would be really interested in watching their film and their videos um his name is jeff smith and he's on youtube and um i wanted to mention a couple of these people because they have really watching their videos and seeing their pictures have really inspired me to want even to do better with my own so i'm constantly you know i'm constantly wanting to make better videos and so i try to watch people sometimes that um really inspire me and so he really not only has inspired me to do better videos but also i've learned a lot from him and he has been so forthcoming um and when i ask him a question especially about well what kind of camera do you use but not only that hey how did you do that when you did that in your in your vlog he would break it down tell me exactly how he did it and having the same camera he did it just made it so simple for me so um he in his videos uses the g7x mark ii as well um he's told me in comments and i've heard him tell others in comments that 90 percent or so of the filming he does is with his g7x i think he does use a gopro for like um water scenes and like really crazy rides that probably would be better with a GoPro and but his name is Jeff Smith he does mostly just um, family vlogging so um, there's really not a lot of dialogue other than music in the background he utilizes that but his he's very talented at using the uh, G7X Mark II and making his uh, vlogs just come alive I mean it's amazing what you can do and not even speak a word so I learned a lot from him and so definitely go check him out. He does great vlogging. I'll put the link below for his channel. I don't think he has an Instagram channel. If he does, I'm not sure uh, about it. But um, definitely will link his YouTube channel so you can definitely go see 
him over there. Um, also, talking on the camera line, um, another YouTube uh, family that does a wonderful job is Two Cats and a Mouse over on our here in YouTube, and they are wonderful. It's Tiffany and Evan, and I have followed them for quite some time, and she has the most gorgeous vlogging footage. I mean, and she does not use the G7X. Um, she uses another camera that I guess might be um, in the same range maybe as far as pricing, maybe a little bit more expensive, but you know, it's in the same ballpark. But it is, uh, it's definitely a great camera. I would, I went back and tried to find our conversation so that I could actually uh, tell you what that camera is, but I could not find it. So um, definitely go check them out. Um, Two Cats and a Mouse, I'll put their link down below. They're on Instagram and on YouTube, but their footage is just stunning, beautiful. And um, just so you can see a variety of other people, like, you know, some that use this camera and then some that use the iPhone and then some that use a total different camera but they all have amazing stunning footage and so that's kind of what I want to portray to you even though I'm telling you what I'm using right now um, you can use a variety of different things I know there's DSLR cameras uh, that people use and the million dollar vloggers they use these big get-ups and um, so there's just such an array of things that you can do but for me and what I do right now the only two things I use are are my um, Canon G7X Mark II and my iPhone. So those are the two things that I use to film with. And that's it. I mean, vlogging or just doing random videos around the house, that's what I use. So, um, yeah. So that's all I wanted to say about my cameras. So now, let's just hop right into what kind of tripods I use. All right, so let me switch it out and I'll uh, show you that. Okay, now let's talk about tripods. I'm going to show you what, the first thing I'm going to show you is the one that I use the absolute most. I love it. I highly recommend it. And it's not that expensive. Um, I bought mine at Best Buy, but this is the one that I absolutely use the most. Every time that I'm vlogging or doing a video of any kind, this is what I use. It is, let me just talk, talk to you about it. It is technically called a mini tripod, and it, and I know I'm gonna butcher this name, so please forgive me. Uh, I'm sure y'all know how to pronounce it better than me. Mon, Monfrodo, uh, Manfrodo, Monfrodo, um, but it's called a shooting grip, where you can hold it and vlog with it, love that. And then, um, this is uh, sold at Best Buy, and it also, and let me just show you how it does. It has these three legs that come out like so, and I really love this thing. It's really thick and sturdy. You feel like, you don't feel like you're going to drop it at any time. You, I can put a seriously weighty camera on it and still feel, I mean, I wouldn't put a big DSLR on something this tiny, but I'm just saying at any point and shoot camera, a Sony, a Canon, whatever, you're gonna love it. It's gonna work perfect. And another thing that I really, really love about this is um, when you're trying to reposition the camera up at the top, um, you can mash this button in and it has a ball that just moves the whole platform around wherever you want it. So it is so easy to reposition and straighten your camera on a dime. I mean, it's that easy. And with this, I bought the combo. I'm not sure if it's sold separately. I'm probably sure it is. But I bought the uh, phone attachment that actually comes uh, in this combo. It has two places, one on the back and one on the bottom. I'll show you both, and it's just a, a screw where you screw it in, and you put, and I'll show you how this one is right here, but this is how um, it looks if you do it this orientation, and this little lever comes out, and that's how you pull it out, stick your phone in, and let it go back in place, and it holds it really tight, very secure. I don't have any fear whatsoever of my phone coming off. Um, that's how confident I am in this and these pieces. The one I use is just in a vertical orientation, and I just screw it on like so, and then I can put my iPhone in it, 
um i'll show you how it goes in there you just i put it in there and you can see how it looks on the back it just you know widens for however big or small your iphone is and um or any other phone for that matter it don't have to be an iphone but um yeah and then then that's how you vlog yourself or if you're vlogging something in particular or whatever um but love that attachment i'm telling you you can go from filming with your camera to filming with your iPhone like that. And I, I utilize this more than you'll ever know. It's the most functional tripod I have and it's my most favorite. So I would definitely recommend this particular tripod. It's my favorite and um, I cannot say enough good things about this combo right here. Okay, let me show you the other tripod that I have that I just don't like it. I don't like it. It's this one and I know oh my goodness and probably because I didn't buy a bigger one although I can be honest this this is the Joby Gorilla Pod and I know a lot of vloggers use this type um, of uh, tripod um, I'm sure they utilize the really larger one like those mil million dollar vloggers use but I'm gonna be honest with you um, as a lady, I'm not going to look around that big Gorilla Pod all day long. And it's just too much. And this one is too little. And there may be one in the middle. But I'm going to be honest. The thing that I really hate about this is I can never get these straight. I mean, they're always crooked. And listen, I can't deal with that. I mean, it drives me nuts. And I'm always trying to straighten it. And it's just so hard to get my camera positioned correctly. And and um and I my personality is I'm never gonna hang anything from a tree and I'm never gonna wrap anything around a pole so there is really no reason for me to have this I don't even know why I bought it but um, I guess I just wanted to try it just to make sure that to form my own opinion about it but yeah this just is not the, the style that I like at all um, I know a lot of adventurous type vloggers and photographers um, need the flexibility that this some um, that this offers but for me just being a Disney vlogger and a random videos here and there around the house um, it's just not for me now let me show you also um, my little bag that I bring um, with me um, I don't like when I go to Disney for a week um, I try to condense this into something smaller because this is just kind of big to carry around with you but here at home when I'm not using my Canon G7X it's in this bag because I really try to protect my camera um, but and again this is not from from um, Canon, I, just, I don't know if you could see it from where you're at, but this is a Sony um, case, but um, Canon's competitor. But anyway, it was just really the perfect size and for what I needed. And um, I love that it has a strap if I need it. It has the handle if I need that. And then it has this little snap that you uh, do and uh, bring up. And this is, like I said, where I keep my camera all the time. It has just a small enough space to fit the cam, the Canon camera perfectly right in here. And then it has a Velcroed little liner that makes another little pocket over here on this side that I keep um, the thing that charges my battery. And then I keep my USB cord in there too. So... All of that fits in that little pocket perfectly. You can, if you want to store something a little bit more in there, you can actually unvelcro it, move it out a little bit further, and adjust it to your needs. Um, and then it has this zipper part that I've already have open um, in the front down here. And in this pocket, I keep, um, I always keep a battery in my camera. And then I keep two extra batteries in this pocket. Um, and I do carry two extra batteries with me when I go to Disney. Um, so I have a total of three batteries um, when I go to Disney for, for vlogging and doing my videos there. So, and I have found that's pretty much, because I recharge mine fairly quick. And then also there's a tiny little slip pocket right here that houses your SD cards. And so, um, I have got one in here, I've got one in my camera, and then I've got one um, in on my computer, I believe, sitting on my front of my computer. But I keep all of my SD cards in here when it's not in my camera. So I keep a total of three batteries and three SD cards. And I use um, the Ultra Plus 
um, 64 gigabyte uh, SD card from ScanDisk. So I have three of those and I have three batteries. Uh, two of my batteries are the Canon batteries that came with my camera. And then one, um, because Best Buy quit carrying the Canon batteries, it's just kind of like a generic brand, but it's equivalent to the same battery. So um, went ahead and bought that. But so yeah, that's everything I keep in my camera bag. I the mean, last thing that I want to show you is just my editing software. I'm not, this is not a video to show you how to use the editing software. It's just a video to say, hey, this is what I use. So, um, you know, if you want to look into it, you can and, um, yeah, so I got two different options for you to look at. So let's look at those now. So here is the editing software that I use for my uh, laptop, which is an a, uh, which is a Dell, and this is the camera that I actually used um, up till Christmas time this past Christmas. Um, my husband got me a new computer for Christmas. So, um, but this is the one I used on all my vlogs. It is Power Director 14 is the package that I had. Um, Power Director number 14. But you can see it's a very advanced looking software and um, really impressive. It's quick, it's fast. Um, you might need to actually um, watch some YouTube videos in order to learn how to use it. Um, that's what I had to do. And so, but I eventually learned how to use it and um, yeah, it does a great job. I purchased this online for about somewhere between 60 and $65 once I used some coupon codes. And so um, it's a great editing software. I know some vloggers that use this already. There's great videos on YouTube uh, from folks telling you how to do different things. Um, and um, yeah, this is what I used on my laptop. And again, anything that you saw prior to December was done on this computer. So um, now let's go look at what editing software I'm using now. Okay, this is the computer I got for Christmas. It's an iMac desktop version and it comes with an iMovies editing software. And so you can do all kind of stuff in iMovies. It's down here in my bar. We'll go down here and we'll click on it and bring it up and I'll show you how um, it comes up on my computer. This is what I do all of my videos since December. This is what I do it on. And um, you can see all of my previous videos that I've uploaded already. And all you have to do is come here and click on the plus sign. It's so simple. Oh my goodness, it's so simple. Um, I can't tell you enough. I like it way better than I did the Power Director. Um, it is just so easy um, to put together a video and so quick. And then it goes straight into your editing format when once you choose that you want to do a movie here's where you would download your media that you use and then once it's up in this box you just drag each clip down in here and uh, you just put your video together and um, and then I just export it out to YouTube and it's so super quick and so super easy and I love it I cannot even tell you how much I love it and so, yeah, that's it. Those are my two editing softwares. And then one other thing I want to show you in YouTube that I do utilize uh, every single time I do a video. And let's go look at that. Something else I want to show you that I do utilize um, in addition to my editing software is in here on YouTube. Um, okay, right here, um, notice that I have these FB... Uh, logos right here and I think I'm saying it correct and saying it's YouTube buddy um, but anyway it is something it's a monthly uh, subscription I think there is a free version you don't get to do quite as much stuff with it but here is a free there is a free version but this one I pay for like maybe somewhere five six seven dollars a month it's not bad but it is, um, you have different things that it helps you with and does for you. But what I love it for is to create your thumbnail. And if you'll see, these, um, all of my videos have these backgrounds with text and little uh, clip arts on it. All of that comes from 
create thumbnail. But you can see um, this, all of this was created in that thumbnail generator. So yeah, that is like the final thing that I do for a video. Once I've edited it in my software, um, I come here to the thumbnail generator and then I, you know, I just create something fun on the screen. So yeah, so that's it. That's everything that uh, my cameras, that's everything I use. Okay, that's it. That's the cameras that I use, the tripods that I use, and the editing software that I use. And um, that's what I use to do my videos, my vlogs. But I do try to do the best videos that I can. And I'm still learning just like everybody else. So I learn from other vloggers. I learn from YouTube videos. And so, um, and I want to help others out as well who have questions and um, are just trying to do good videos as well. So if you have any more questions, just let me know. I just wanted to share all that with you um, since I get so many questions about it. And uh, yeah, so happy vlogging and we'll see you on the next video.